Transport for London is the mayor's transport agency and we run nearly all the transport in London. Oyster was launched in 2003 and it's been a fantastic success. But fundamentally, it represented a business model where we were spending nearly 15% of our revenue in collecting it. And that's money that's wasted. London being a global city, there are lots and lots of visitors here. But if you're new to London, you have to arrive at our station, change your money for our money. You have to equip yourself with the means to pay the fare. No coffee shop asks you to equip yourself with something special before you can buy a coffee. So why should the transport system do the same thing? And that's where the idea of contactless cards came from. The technical and commercial challenges around implementing something of this kind are absolutely formidable. And so for us, having a partner like MasterCard was critical to this. MasterCard was the organization that sat down with TfL and actually innovated around this business problem of how do you apply contactless technologies for payments to a transport situation. When you're making a purchase in a store, there's a single tap and the transaction is done. If you're making a journey on a railway, you have two taps, tap in and tap out. And the price isn't known until those two things are completed. So the contactless technologies that MasterCard built and rolled out for retail weren't applicable to transit. But what MasterCard was able to do, working with the Transport for London team, was to unpack the way a contactless transaction works and reusing component parts in a different way. These were new, innovative ideas that MasterCard brought to the TfL project and really unlocked the door for TfL to actually realize their business goals. It's now been almost two years since we launched contactless services and it's been a runaway success. Almost a third of our pay-as-you-go journeys are now made using contactless. There are 25,000 new users of contactless devices on our system every day. There are fewer people queuing up to buy tickets. It's something that's leading to lower costs and that money is being reinvested in the tube and the bus systems. Transport for London made great progress and we're seeing that in uh, pretty much every part of the world, cities are taking a very close interest in Transport for London's achievements and are initiating their own contactless programs.